Hey everyone, I'm super excited about today's project because we're making giant Easter decorations. Each carrot is about six feet tall and each burrowing rabbit is about a foot and a half tall. So let me show you how I made these awesome decorations. So we're gonna start with insulation foam board. They sell these in sheets of four foot by eight foot but I've cut mine in half to make it easier to cut out the carrots. We'll make three carrots out of this board. We're gonna to wanna to mark the middle of these carrots by placing a mark at 12, 24, and 36 inches. Mark your carrots out with a marker and we're ready to start cutting. Use a utility knife and they should all look like this once you're done cutting them. Next, we're going to cut the remaining foam pieces into strips. I'm doing mine about two to three feet long and these will turn into the carrot stalks. So it doesn't have to be perfect cuts and we actually want it to look jagged and different shapes and sizes. Each of the carrots that I'm making today will take three stalks per carrot, but you can add more if you'd like. Now we need to cut the rabbit feet. I'm gonna make them about 12 inches long, so I'm gonna mark it right there. Okay, now let's draw our rabbit foot. Clearly I'm not good at drawing because I feel I've seen this shape before. Yeah, that's not gonna work out, let's fix that. Much better. I'm all about safety, so make sure you're using eye protection and hearing protection while using power tools. Once you finish cutting your first rabbit foot, you can use it as a mold for your next rabbit feet that you're gonna cut out. Paint your rabbit feet in white with exterior paint, but you can also use gray or brown. It's up to you, be creative. Once we're done with this, we're gonna need a paint tray, a mini paint roller, a paint roller cover, tarp, and a paint can opener, along with the paint. I'm using a roller brush because it's so much easier to do it on a flat surface like this. All the materials and paints I used are listed in the bio below. And this is how it should look like once you're done painting your carrots. Now we need to add carrot details with black, brown, and orange paint. Use three different paint brushes to make it easier. I'm using these small ones. I am not an artist or a painter, so this was my first time doing something like this. And it's pretty simple. Just put some brown paint, streaks of black, some orange, and start making lines and little blotches. Your aim is to make lines throughout the carrot to give it that nice detail. Now for the stalks, just use a dark green paint. I'm only painting one side of them, but this is how it should look like when they're done. Next, we're gonna use dark green feathers. Each pack comes with 100 feathers and we're using two packs. Get a sharp object or a metal stake and start making holes into the foam stalks. After you've made as many holes as you'd like, put some hot glue and then stick your feather into the hole. So for the feathers, I wanna show you something real quick. I'm using a simple metal pick that I have when I push into it, it does go in, but it bounces right back. That's how foam is. So I have to actually dig it in there to get a good hole going. But with the drill, super simple to make a hole. So I used a drill for the remainder of the project. Once you're ready with your glue gun and your stock, just put just a dab of glue, little dab of glue, and just put it in there like that. It'll dry in like 30 seconds and you got your stock done. To attach the stalks to the carrot, you'll need to cut off the corners of the right and left stalk. Then apply a generous amount of hot glue to the back of them and stick to the carrot. Make sure to put a weight on it so that it doesn't move and it can harden where you left it. Okay, so you finished your carrot, now what? It should look like this. Really nice, really sturdy, but the back will look different. 
If you want to get rid of these markings that they're here on this insulation board, you're going to have to paint it twice, maybe even three times. But since nobody's really going to see the back, I didn't paint it more than once. But you'll also need these straps right here. They're called two hole straps. They're sold at any hardware store. Let's put it right there. I either use hot glue or one and a quarter inch screws. That's what I use. I'll put one right here, one right here. I'll get a PVC pipe. I'll cut it about three, maybe four feet. I'll stick that PVC pipe into the ground. And once I screw or glue these onto this right here, I'll be able to just slide it over the PVC pipe and it'll stand in the yard like this. Easy, breezy, what do they say? Cover girl. Now to finish the rabbit feet, we're gonna draw circles representing the paw pads. I'm gonna draw four paw pads per rabbit foot. Here's a pro tip. If you only need a little bit of paint, Lowe sells color samples for only $4 per eight ounces. Paint the paw pads with a tiny brush and we're good to go. Next, we'll need to fill our burlap bags. These bags represent the body of the rabbit and it needs to be filled with stuffing, cotton, leaves, anything you have laying around. Just fill it up almost halfway full. Make sure to tie your burlap bags and then flip them over so we can begin attaching the feet. Attach the feet directly to the burlap bag with hot glue. Now pour your mulch and make a nice hole on top of the grass and set your rabbit on top of it. Put your carrots over your PVC pipe and you're set. Hope you all enjoyed. Here's the final result and don't forget to subscribe.